Hi everyone, this is Kunzel here. So today we're going to check out the new character demo for Kazuha, both the English and Japanese version. It's actually the most action-packed uh, character demo I've seen so far, the most combat scenes. So let's check it out. Obviously, I feel one is better than the other, but uh, since it's a Japanese team character, obviously the Japanese voice would be better, right? So uh, in this, but this time around, at least the English uh, voice actor did not give me any cringe worthy type of reactions. So yeah, that's good. And uh, let's check out the demo itself. It's very, very well made, as with all the character demos that Mihoyo have been churning out. Solitary cloud. Shadow in the setting sun. Last line. The arrow is really accurate, by Honestly, the way. Can't even finish my haiku without being interrupted. Oh man, getting the vibes. The vibes. Wait, he's using Iron Sting, right? Not bad taste. Not too bad. This is the elemental skill. Hey, hey. Really old school samurai showdown me. type of Despite style, yeah. Black and white. Nice. My mind is like a wind on the waves. It can change in an instant. Kid, I think I got you figured out. Oh. oh, the bounce. In that case, you saw this coming. What, you mean these amateurs? <laughs> I was saving them for you. Fallen leaves adorn my night! This is the elemental burst. Electro infused one. Nice. The animation is very nice. Last line stirs the drifter's heart. Okay, so this this is okay, but when you look at the Japanese uh, words, which is the kanji, which is what, what happens with your Chinese words, right? That there are some overlap on that. Uh, the feeling that is delivered is really really different. But uh, no worries about that. Let's check out the Japanese thriller or rather the character demo right now. Kumo. Okay, this is the Japanese one. Takaki, it it's, it's actually means high and aloof. It's not just soli solitary. Oh no, sorry, it's not just solitary, it's high and aloof actually. It's a much more lonely feeling. Nice. That's his last hit by the way, the multi-slash in his attack animation. <laughs> the second one was with the elemental absorption, Hydro. Ah, uh, this is really nice. Japanese voice with this uh, black and white screen. あんたのことなんか <laughs> And then you have the elemental skill in the burst, which is easily done with your C1. Ah, Moyu. So this word here, it actually means like, set your heart aflame. It's not just stirring your heart, it's setting your heart aflame. So yeah, that's why I say the effect is very different on the Japanese one. But anyway, this has been a really, really cool thriller. And... Uh, 
The thing is, they focus more on his elemental skill and elemental burst. The normal attacks aren't enticing me enough to want to go for C6. We have to see the performance of C6 itself to decide whether we'll go for C6 eventually. But uh, yeah, I was just going to pull for a C2 Kazuha and an R5 Freedom Swan. And my only complaint now is that the Freedom Swan. Wait, let me look for the Iron Steam here. It's so obvious that it's Iron Steam. There's one shot that's very, very obvious. Yeah, this is the one. This is the Ascended version of Iron Steam, by the way, after the second ascension. So that's my only complaint. They should have designed Freedom Swan to look like a katana. Although I know the whole law about Freedom Swan is set in Monstead, but if that Freedom Swan weapon had been a katana, it would be, have been very, very, very fitting, aesthetic wise. Now, instead of using a Freedom Swan, they have to use a 3 star weapon on, in his character trailer. So that's like. Uh, and it's not even a 3 star weapon with EM. If it's a 3 star weapon with EM, I can accept it. Right? But, oh well. So anyway, Freedom Swan is still very very fitting for him and it's also a great weapon for doing damage and support. It's a very future proof weapon. That's why I myself will want to pull on that weapon better. And I also did a video on that so you can check out that video. Uh, whether you should go C1 or C2 Kazuha versus the R1 Freedom Swan. If I look at total future proof wise, Freedom Swan is actually better. But yeah, you can check out that video. Uh, I'll put it in the top right corner here. Alright. So thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Bye. Which will likely be tomorrow when Kazuha is out. I'll do a stream on that. We'll do a live stream on the uh, pools and testing him out as well. Okay, thanks everyone for watching. Bye. Alright. Oh, if you like if you like the content, remember the video and click subscribe for more, yeah? Okay, see ya.